table fans, we're going to show you a work in progress of a Gorkonaut being like electronified. So uh, let's take a look. Take it away. All right. This is our claw of Gork. And I looked at this and I thought, you know, it's just got to move. So okay. got it. what I've done here is arrange it so that it will move. Okay. So there you go. Now let's take a look. So we got a nice chomping, crunching action there. Okay. And that is, we can do that faster or slow. What I was thinking we'd do this with was an animation controller. So we would have okay. sound and motion. Okay. As, however we'd like to do it, basically. So yeah, that's the animated uh, claw of cork. And here's the okay. uh, stuff inside if you want to take yeah, a quick look. Yeah, I do look. want to take a quick look. There's a, a uh, tiny little servo. Right. And a little bell crank. Oh, holy crap. Look at that. So that's what's inside there. I think my battery might have just died, but let me see if I can get that to okay, operate. Great. Hold on. There we go. So you can see. Nope, battery died. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. I think we got a really good idea of how it went. Okay. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. The idea here is on the other side is that uh, our friend has a minigun. Okay. Right. So what I wanted to do was animate the minigun, and right. we got three things with that. First, we have light, and we have sound, and we have uh, vibration. Oh, great. Wow. So, yeah. And the idea is that uh, uh, because the Gorks have a kind of a, uh, I almost say a goofy, but a, a little bit of a comic relief kind of sure. uh, thing, what I wanted to do was go a little over the top with this. Okay. So first off, we have... Wouldn't that be funny if this actually shot something, and he shot me in the chest, right? Whoa! So we got that. That's awesome. Now we got... I was not expecting that. We got vibration. So it shoots like it. Whoa, okay. Oh, I feel that. And then we got That's sound. Amazing. Sort of thing. So what my thought is, is that... Oh, wow. It, no, if you put it on that the table, like it'll so rattle much. around. Okay, so go ahead, go. That's the thing. You know, that's what I would, would want to do. Like that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. So... And uh, I was going to spin the barrels, but I thought it was actually uh, a little more effective to have an, a, an inferred no, like spin that. with the LEDs. Like so yeah, so that's what I was thinking there. But, yeah. Oh wow, so that's I got, so yeah. fun. And if you put a look at look okay. at it right it right in there, it's crazy. Okay. But yeah. So when this actually gets all put together, it'll be like this will just be integrated into the base. Completely or integrated like that. into the base. This right. gives you an idea here. This speaker is a big uh, speaker. It, you know, it's inexpensive, but it's got a nice surround. And this is one okay. of those little, you know, dollar keychain things. But okay. isn't the right. sound you can get out of it? If you just have wow. a better speaker and a, just a semi enclosure. That's so. extremely loud. So that's what I'm thinking of. And then the, what I wanted to do for the claw, the claw would have some sort of sound effect as well, right. Crun you know, crunching, chomping sort of thing too. Um, so that's the, the, what I've got at this point. All right, fantastic. Hey, uh, thanks for coming in, Kevin. And uh, we'll see you when uh, we see the whole thing put together. Yes. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, thanks a lot.